Hi everyone, this is Professor Dan G at the University of Colorado Boulder, and we are going through our next um, our next Tinkercad. And so we're going through the ITLP uh, Arduino intro workshop, but we're going to do it together in Tinkercad. And so we hooked up LEDs in the first section. We're going to hook up some uh, photoresistors in this section, and yeah. Hopefully go through it together and then we'll make a video where they have some bonus things. So we'll do that on a final video if you want to see those. Um, but right now we are going to read from a photoresistor. So, um, and we want to do that with an Arduino. So this is an Arduino workshop. So we're going to carry that one over. There we go. And then it's always nice to have a little breadboard. So let's grab ourselves a breadboard. Yeah. Breadboard. Breadboard's small. Yeah, no need to go big. Some say go big, go home. I say, give me a small one. <laughs> All right, now we do LED. All right, we'll take a look. No, we don't want an LED. We did that last time. We want a photo. We want a resistor. And then a photo resistor. All right, so one thing that's interesting with Tinkercad is that it doesn't kind of give us a spec sheet as far as I can tell. And so I think there is a multimeter tool. Let me just look that up. Multimeter. Yeah. So we can do multimeter tool, but we can use our Arduino actually as a multimeter as well. So um, what we want to do, so this photoresistor changes resistance as light hits it. So more light hits it, the less resistance it has. The darker it gets, the higher the resistance. And we need to somehow change that into a voltage. And how do we do that? Well, we make this circuit, it's a very common circuit, it's called a voltage divider. So what it does is it takes voltage in, so let's give ourselves five volts, and we learned a little trick last time, so I'm just gonna take our wire, come on over, and we go five volts in, and so that is five volts, that's not changing, so I'm gonna call that a nice red wire. So we take five volts in, and then if we put two resistors in series, it divides the voltage based off of the resistance. And so the actual math says that the voltage at this junction is equal to the voltage coming in times this voltage here from the photo cell divided by the total voltage. But that's outside of the scope of what we want to learn about today. So today we're just going to um, see if we can play around with this thing with Arduino. So if we have to build a circuit, we have our power coming in. And then we always want to have our circuit complete the circle. Ooh, let me just see here. Uh, by going to ground and I love my black wires for ground I love my red wires for power and my black wires for ground all right so we have a complete circuit however if I start simulation nothing happens because I don't have any code and I'm actually missing a wire so again let's go to text we're all good enough to do text and it automatically points us to the blink code I'm just gonna delete that There we go. And so now, what do we want to do? We want to use our Arduino as a multimeter. How do we do that? Well, it's not really a multimeter. This Arduino can only read voltage in, and it can only read between zero and five volts. Luckily for us, we have a voltage divider with five volts at the top and ground at the bottom, so it can read all of that voltage. So what do we do? We want to read this junction. We want to read where the two resistors are touching. And if we want to read, that means we want inf information that's the output from the sensor to be the input to an Arduino. And we know that it's a range of values. We know that the value isn't just going to be high or low. It's going to be something that depends on the amount of light that's hitting that light sensor. So what does that look like? Well. We want to set the pin mode of the pin we want to use, and let's say A0, to be an input. Now, 
there are some nuances. You can get away with not putting this in, but I don't think we know enough about Arduino for watching this video to assume that we know how it's going to act. So it's very good to be specific on what we want our pins to do. So we have pin mode input. And what we want to do is take an make make something we want to take a reading so we want to do an analog reading of a zero so we can actually start the simulation and it'll work no errors but nothing comes out we can't see it and why is that is because we haven't enabled our serial monitor so again on an actual arduino we have a usb cable USB means universal serial bus. It communicates with our computer over serial communication. If we want to see the values, we need to tell Arduino that we want to see those values. How do we do that? We type in serial.begin, and then the default value is 9600. Semicolon. And now we got to take our reading and we got to somehow print it out. How do we do that? Well, it's always good to define a variable. So let's call this an integer, and we are gonna call it integer light read. And what, is, what this does is it says, take an instantaneous reading on A0 and assign that value to this word light read. Now all we wanna do is print that out. So we do serial.print, and then we do a little extra. So serial.print would work. Let's try that. Light semicolon. And then we always want to delay just a little bit. So when we start this simulation, we have our serial beginning, we have our analog read reading, and we are printing it out. So when we fire up our serial monitor, ah, I can't really read that all that well. All the numbers are on the same line. So as a human, I don't know which one's which. So we've got to change our code a little bit. And the way to do that is just do serial.println. And what that does is it puts each line, each reading on a separate line. And so we'll just clear that. Start simulation. There we go. And so we are getting a ton of numbers. None of them make a ton of sense. All right. So we're just getting a whole bunch of noise. It goes 64903, and that's because if I look, I don't have a wire connected to A0. And so what I'm gonna do is give myself a little signal wire here. And green's a fine color, why not? And so now I want to read from the junction where these two resistors are touching. And in our kit, we have a 10K, so let's change this to 10 kilovolts. Okay. Now we start the simulation. Ooh. All right, so now the number is always 969. Well, let's make it lighter or dark. Oh, it's saying it's really dark. And so, wow. And so now it goes all the way down to 49. So when it's really bright, it's 49. When it's really dark, it's 969. So what that says to me is that this is pretty well matched. We have a really good range here of light and dark, but if I look, it changes very little for the first half, and then it changes a lot for that last half. So, the nice thing about Tinkercad is I can just swap this out real quick. to a 1K, start simulation, show me the code, all right, stop simulation. One K, enter, there we go. Start simulation again, let's look at that code and if I click on that, yeah. I don't really think it's much better. We might just have a nonlinearity with our photo cell. Let me click back on that, call that a 10K, and call this good. Start simulation. There we go, 969. 
Here we go all the way down to 49. So we can see as it gets darker and lighter, our values change. Cool. All right. So what are some other things we can do? Well, if we change our code, what if we forgot our serial begin? So I'm just going to comment that out. We start the simulation. And although it says serial.print, we're not seeing everything. So yeah, we always have to make sure that we have a serial.begin. Let's start that simulation again. Yeah, and we can play with that. All right, so that ends this video. We'll see you in the next one when we make a nightlight.